Your voice, your vote, and this weekend, history will happen here in Michigan. For the first time, people will have a chance to participate in early voting. In November of 2022, Michigan voters overwhelmingly approved a constitutional amendment to allow for early voting in statewide and federal elections. Communities are required to provide at least nine consecutive days of early voting, starting with this year's presidential primary. Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson talked about preparations for early voting today in Lansing, and she says she anticipates everything will run smoothly. 13 on your side's Riley Mack joins us from the newsroom, and Riley, test runs have already happened, right? Yes, Julia. In November, 12 counties and municipalities across the state participated in a test of the early voting system. East Grand Rapids was among them. Statewide, 4,600 voters cast their ballots early. Secretary of State Benson says the testing allowed them to identify problems early and make any, any necessary changes before Saturday. My team will be in constant communication with clerks in each jurisdiction and will be on the ground at early voting sites to ensure everyone has the support they need. I will also be visiting several early voting sites personally over this nine day period and making sure voters know about this new opportunity to make their voice heard. Again, early voting starts this Saturday and runs through February 25th. The location varies depending on which county you live in, so check with your local clerk. If you're not interested in voting early, you can still cast your ballot in person on Election Day itself. That's Tuesday, February 27th. Voting by absentee ballot is an option as well, and for that, the rules have not changed. No. Juliet And Riley, early voting is new to us here in Michigan, but it's common in the rest of the country. Yes, 46 states, along with the District of Columbia and several other territories, offer some form of early in-person voting. It's not an option in just three states, Alabama, Mississippi, or New Hampshire. Thank you for that information, Riley.